Right, what's going on you guys we are back again with another video and today i'm going to be showing you guys the secret to recording vocals in fl studio and when i say secret it's because there's this one tip that i've kind of been throwing around this channel for a little bit now but i'm telling you this one thing makes recording and doing a bunch of other stuff in fl studio so much easier so make sure you stay tuned for later on in the video when i actually go over that but the basis of this video is i'm going to show you guys how to record in fl studio and we're going to go from complete scratch using stock plugins and if you really want to follow along with the video make sure you go to the description and grab that link for the free template that we're going to make in this video but yeah the goal for this video is going to be very beginner oriented so if you already know how to mix a little bit this video might not be for you but for you beginners that have absolutely no idea how to record this is going to be a perfect video for you. There's really not much more to say other than follow me on Instagram, but let's actually get started with step one, finding the beat. This is going to be pretty much the easiest part of the video, but all we're going to do is I'm going to head over to YouTube. And since the underground yeet genre is kind of my style, I'm just going to type in a yeet type beat. I actually have like my favorite artist tree time. He makes some of the hardest yeet beats. So I'm just going to type in yeet type beat tree time. And we're just going to grab something random here. So let me throw my headphones on. All right, so let's just go with this first one called Truck. So yeah, this is pretty much the process I would go for looking for a beat. I would just go through a bunch of beats like this, but I'm not going to take too much time today. I'm just going to grab this first one. And then you would just download this and bring it in an FL. I'm not going to show you exactly how to do that, but if you actually do release the song, make sure you pay your producers. All right, so here's a completely blank template of FL Studio. As you can see, we got nothing open. And the first thing we're going to do is actually bring the beat in. And this is an actually surprisingly important step. This is one of those like secret tips that I was talking about earlier, which is called track mode. And you use this button right here, but when you go to bring in the beat, you have to make sure you do this. So you're gonna go to your downloads folder or wherever that beat goes. Mine's in my downloads, and I'm just gonna drag it in and make sure you drag it on the track header. So what this is gonna do is bring up this dropped samples tab right here. And what you wanna do is click audio tracks. And now what this did is it loaded up the beat on this specific track. And as you can see, there's this little A on the playlist track right here. So it auto named it and it auto routed it to this mixer track right here. And it went to two for some reason. So I'm gonna hold alt left arrow on my keyboard to bring that over to number one. But now this playlist track is linked to this mixer track. So any audio file that we put into this playlist track will automatically go here. So as you can see, we play it. It's going straight to this mixer, which is perfect because this just makes everything so much easier for mixing and just understanding where everything is routed. The next thing we have to do is find out the BPM and key. There's a bunch of different ways to do this, but tree time always includes the BPM and the key down in the description below. So that's one of the ways. The other way is you could just go into your auto tune and just keep playing the song with your voice until it sounds right. That usually works. As far as finding the BPM, if you can't do that, you could use this little tempo tapper and just tap it out. But like I said, it's already right here, 136 D minor. So what we're gonna do is, since this is an MP3, we gotta go to the beginning of this, hit S on my keyboard, click Alt and drag that silence out in the beginning. Then we're gonna go to 136, and now we are perfectly on time. All right, now let's move on to step two, which is creating our recording track, which is gonna be how you're gonna hear yourself with all the effects on it, and basically just your overall preset. So like I said, we are gonna be using stock. Besides one thing, I am going to be using Auto-Tune just because I don't like FL Studio's picture, it's pretty trash. But again, back to this kind of secret that we've been going over before, if you right click this button right here, what it's gonna do is make a new playlist track and auto-link it to this mixer track, insert number three. And like I did before, we're gonna hit Alt, left arrow on our keyboard to bring that over. Then we're gonna click F2 to rename this track and we're gonna call this Main Vocals. And then we're also gonna rename, or we're gonna recolor it. I'm just gonna go to red. As you can see, it auto updated in the mixer and it has this little A again because this playlist track is auto linked to this mixer track. So anything we do on this playlist will automatically be routed to this mixer which like I said, just makes mixing so much easier to understand where everything is. So right off the bat, what we're gonna do is set our input. I'm using input one, which is just where my mic is routed. So make sure you know exactly where your mic is routed to. And then you wanna make sure this is set to when armed and external input only. This will make it so when you actually arm the track, you'll be able to hear yourself. And then it'll also make sure that when you record that vocal, it's gonna record your raw input and not have any of the effects on it. Also, if you're recording with latency, you're gonna need some kind of interface. I'm using the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. 
and make sure you go to your audio settings. As you can see, I'm using the Focusrite USB and using an interface allows me to get that three millisecond buffer length, which is super good for recording because there's virtually no latency. If you're having issues with latency, a quick YouTube search can help you with that. But now our input's set and everything like that. So now we gotta start adding some actual effects onto our vocals. So the first thing I'm gonna add is auto-tune. Our scale was D minor, so I'm gonna set it to D minor. And then I usually leave the input type at soprano, but realistically you should probably be on low male. But honestly, this input type doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna turn the retune speed up all the way and the humanize just up a tad bit. The retune speed is basically auto-tune. So like the more you have this up, the more auto-tune-y it's gonna sound. And the more you bring this back, the less you're gonna notice that auto-tune. But it's basically how fast it actually adjusts your vocal from being at the wrong note to the correct note. Whereas the humanize is just gonna make that sound a bit smoother, that transition from here to here. Will just be a bit smoother the higher you bring this up the more that auto-tune will sound more natural if that makes sense well we're leaving that at that for now now the first thing in my vocal chain would usually be a noise gate and the only noise gate that i know that's stock in fl studio is a limiter but the limiter noise gate is pretty trash i've noticed it's very finicky for some reason it just never sounds smooth. So let's go ahead and just get our mic activated all right so the noise gate you would want to just bring the gain down and the threshold up yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just want to bring this threshold up to about wherever you think your noise floor is, which mine is pretty much right here. Then you would adjust this release knob and how much you actually want the noise to be reduced. So if it's like this, it's going to go dead silent. But as you can see, it just sounds pretty trash. So I usually leave it around somewhere like here. And I like this release to be pretty damn high. So then it's not like, it just doesn't sound like it's cutting in and out and stuff like that. Bring this threshold down a little bit. So we don't need it doing too much, but that should work for now. All right, so the next thing I would do is go with an EQ. And right off the bat, we're just gonna roll off some of that low end, something like this. And now keep in mind, your EQ is gonna be different for every room, every microphone, and every voice. So there's a lot of factors that go into how to actually use this EQ. All right, for now, since I really hate this fruity limiter for how finicky it sounds, I'm just gonna replace it with the NS1, which is a Waves plugin, it's just a bit better. As you can see, this one just, this one's just a lot smoother but it's not that big of a difference. So the main thing is just roll off some of that low end, get that low end out of there, maybe bring in some of the highs. And this is just a super simple EQ right here. And then you could do some frequency sweeps, which is where you just make it really skinny like this. You could use your scroll wheel, how thick or thin that is. You just make it really thin and then just bring it really high and do some frequency sweeps until you find some kind of frequency that sounds bad. So like, let's just see where it is. There's some ringing right here, so maybe I'd pull that out. But I don't usually frequency sweep until the end of recording when I'm done like recording and everything and move on to that mixing stage. So there's a basic little EQ that we got going right here. All right, so now we gotta get some compression going and the Fruity Compressor, I really hate it because it just looks so terrible. So what you could do is actually use the Fruity Limiter, which is, as far as what I've been told, the Fruity Limiter, the compressor in it, is the same exact thing as a Fruity Compressor or at least super similar. But at least in the fruity limiter, you actually get to see what's going on. So we're gonna bring the ratio to like four to one. And you can see where you're bringing it up in the top right or top left corner right here. So as you move that, you can see four to one, a very mellow attack and release, just like something like this. You don't have to adjust this knee, but now we're gonna bring that threshold down until this compressor starts actually doing something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I just wanna have that. And for this first compressor, really all I wanna do is control some of those loud transients. So we're not gonna be doing too much. This should be pretty much enough. I gotta think of my like rapping voice too. I'm gonna to be a little bit louder. And the next thing we're gonna add is a fruity multiband compressor. And we're just gonna use this vocal preset. And then all you gotta do is just adjust the threshold for each. So as you can see, it sounds very, very tinny right now. So let's just bring these thresholds down until you get some compression. And it's actually only using the mid band. So you can just adjust it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want my hand, I just got my hand. All right, next thing we're gonna add is Maximus and we're gonna go to the narrowband de-esser. Where is it? Uh, narrowband de-esser right here. And we're just gonna bring this down until we get rid of some of those S's. Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, right here seems about good. And then the next plugin, like I said, we're using all stock, but there's this free plugin called Fresh Air, which I mean, you really need it. It's like one of the, my, it's one of my most used plugins. We're just going to bring fresh air on here and just bring in some air right here. And as you can see, this sounds so much better. Yeah, I just, yeah, yeah, 
yeah. And then I always put an EQ right here at the end just to make sure we're losing some of that low end in case any of the compressors brought it back in and maybe just like shape the vocal a little bit more. But you can kind of just do anything you want with that. And then we're going to put a fruity flangus on here and we're just going to bring that mix down to around, let's see, what are we at? 16%. All right, so there we go. So now the main part of our vocal is pretty much done, but now we got to get our reverb and delay. So what we're going to do is go to insert number three, F2, type in reverb. Let's just make this blue Then go to insert number four, F2, delay. And we'll make this green. Now we're gonna go to our reverb track and we're just gonna add a fruity reverb. And then for the delay, we're just gonna add a fruity delay three. Actually, for now, we're just gonna leave this. Actually, one thing we do have to do, we have to take the dry down all the way. But now we're gonna go back to our main vocal and you're gonna shift click on the reverb and shift click on the delay. And what this did is make two bus tracks. So it's gonna send the vocal into this track and that's how it's gonna use your delay. Oh, we also have to go into the reverb and bring the wet all the way up and the dry all the way down. But now you control your reverb and delay with this knob right here. So as you can see, as I bring this up, you get way more delay, I mean reverb. And if we have delay, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So let's bring this level down, maybe yeah. cut off a bit. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, why am I? Yeah, yeah. I can't. Yeah. I can't. Maybe bring ping pong in. Yeah. 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 I'm a. I'm a. Yeah. Let's go to the reverb. Just the delay like this. Maybe bring the low cut up. See how it sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right? I like putting a chorus on my reverb as well. Yeah. 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 All right, let's see how it sounds with the actual beat. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so I like this, but it's not loud enough, so I'm gonna adjust the threshold, make sure we're still getting some compression. One of this multi-band compression. I'm actually gonna scroll down with these, and we're gonna add a double. Let me turn these off for now. But I'm gonna add another fruity limiter. So we have two compressors. Stacking compressors is a very common thing in vocal mixing. So that you're gonna pretty much see that all the time. For the second compressor, we're gonna do basically almost the same thing, but just let's do a three to one ratio and have the attack and release a bit slower. And just yeah, 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 yeah. And bring this gain up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, I'm always uh yeah, I'm always right. I'm always right, yeah, I'm always up, I'm always right, I'm always left. I went up and got these bands, now I'm stuck inside this bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They try to figure me out, but they can't. I told this bitch that I'm rolling in man. I got a bitch and she looking like that. Hey. All right, so now we're ready to record. So as long as you have this armed, all you gotta do is hit R on your keyboard and it'll start going. You can right click this record button to set up how you actually want it to record, but this is how I have mine set up. But let's go, let's see if we can do a little freestyle. Yeah. I'm in a truck, yeah. I'm bagging a bitch, I'm up in a butt, yeah. I'm out of the dress, I can't even remember what all of this done. Yeah, I love the, I love the, I love the, yeah. I got a drum on a motherfucker tech and I let that bitch spray. Yeah, I told this bitch that she ain't showing shit, then she gotta go pay. Yeah, tell that little diamonds on all of my wrists. I gotta get it done like little bitch. I gotta do it like this, I'm electrified. I got this bitch on my dick in the yeah. I'm in a bag of the bands, riding around, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. She don't like what I do, she don't like what I say, yeah. Alright, let's listen back. Yeah. I'm in a truck, yeah I'm bagging a bitch, I'm up in a butt, yeah I'm out of the dress, I can't even remember what all of this done, yeah I love the, I love the, I love the, yeah I got a drum on a motherfucker tech and I let that bitch spray, yeah I told this bitch that she ain't showing shit, then she gotta go pay, yeah Tell her little diamonds on all of my wrists, I gotta get it done like little bitch I gotta do it like this, I'm electrified, I got this bitch on my dick and that's, yeah I'm in a bag of the bands, riding around, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. All right, so that is perfect for now. So what I'm gonna do is just turn off the reverb and delay. 
And what I'm going to do is right click file, save mixer track, state as, and we're just going to drag it to an open mixer track. Because now we're on step three, which is making the ad libs. So like I said, you just got to duplicate that over. I'm going to click F2 and name this ad libs now. And I'll just make this some weird blue. Then I'm going to hit Alt left arrow to bring it in front of the reverb and delay. We got to shift click the reverb and delay again. And then we're going to go to the playlist and link this playlist track over. So we got to right click track mode, audio track, and we're going to bring it to the ad libs. And let's make this blue again because it reset. Boom, and then I'm gonna turn this mic off and turn the ad libs on. All right, so now we're on the ad lib track, and what we gotta do, let's see. So I'm gonna go into this EQ and just make it really thin and kind of like telephony, just like this. Now let's turn the reverb and delay on. A lot of reverb. Yeah, you, oh, yes, Heidi. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright, let's record some headlifts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in a truck. Yeah. I'm bagging a bitch and I'm up in a butt. I'm up yeah. yeah. I'm out in a dress. I can't even remember what all of this done. Yeah. I love the. I love the. I love the. Yeah. I got a drum on a motherfucker tech and I let that bitch spray. Yeah. I told this bitch that she ain't showing shit that she gotta go pay. Yeah. Tell her little diamonds on all of my wrists. I gotta get it done like little bitch. I gotta do it like this. I'ma let you fight. I got this bitch on my dick and that's it. Yeah. I'm in the back of the bands. I'm in the back of the bands. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna turn the mic off. Alright, we're back to normal mic, but let's just uh, go ahead and listen back to this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in a truck. Yeah. I'm bagging a bitch and I'm up in a butt. Yeah. I'm out of the dress. I can't even remember what all of this done. Yeah. I love the. I love the. I love the. Yeah. I got a drum on a motherfucker tech and I let that bitch spray. Yeah. I told this bitch that she ain't showing shit that she gotta go pay. Yeah. Tell her little diamonds on all of my wrists. I gotta get it done like little bitch. I gotta do it like this. I'ma let you fight. I got this bitch on my dick in the jail. I'm in a bag of the bands. Riding right around. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah. Alright. So that's sounding pretty good. So that's pretty much it. So now we're gonna move on to step number five which is the mix and master. So as far as the mix goes, I'm pretty solid with this mix. I might bring the beat up a bit more, but now we're gonna go over to the master and you should always have a fruity soft clipper on your master if you're making beats or just recording in general. It'll just make sure you're not clipping and going above zero dB. But I'm gonna go ahead and add a limiter and we're just gonna bring this envelope, the envelope settings right here, bring the attack and release all the way down. And then make sure you bring the ceiling all the way up. And then you basically have a brick wall limiter right here. So I'm just going to bring the gain up until it's loud enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in a truck. Yeah. I'm bagging a bitch and I'm up in a butt. Yeah. I'm out of the dress. I can't even remember what all of this done. Yeah. I love the, I love the, I love the. Yeah. And then once you find a good loudness, make sure you reset your ceiling. This will make sure that you're not going above zero dB. Or what you could do is have the limiter go into the soft clipper and leave that ceiling all the way up. Yeah, yeah. I'm in a truck. Yeah. I'm bagging a bitch and I'm up in a butt. Yeah. I'm out of the dress. I can't even remember what all of this done. Yeah. I love the, I love the, I love the, yeah. And I let that bitch spray. Yeah, I told this bitch that she ain't showing shit that she gotta go pay. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As far as the master goes, you're pretty limited when it comes to stock plugins in FL Studio. There's not a lot you can do with the stock plugins because, in my opinion, you just can't get them to sound as good as you can with Waves plugins. Now, if you want to watch some of my other videos, I do have a mastering preset that you could grab. If you go down in the description, I'll have that link down below. But like I said, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you do want this free template, make sure you check the description below. That's all I got for now, and I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in a truck. Yeah. I'm bagging a bitch and I'm up in a butt. Yeah. I'm out of the dress. I can't even remember what
with all of this done. Yeah, I love the, I love the, I love the, yeah. I got a drum on a motherfucker tech and I let that bitch spray. Yeah, I told this bitch that she ain't showing shit, then she gotta go pay. Yeah, tell her little diamonds on all of my wrists. I gotta get it done like little bitch. I gotta do it like this, I'ma let you fight. I got this bitch on my dick in the jail. I'm in the back of the bands.